Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Neat Video real quick. Um, this is for Final Cut Pro users. Assuming you've purchased and downloaded the Neat Video product and the plugin is installed in your um, editor. So you pick a clip that is fairly noisy. And you necessarily wouldn't start picking clips to just apply Neat Video. What you might end up doing is doing a whole edit and then you go through and you realize two or three of your clips look a little noisy. Um, so you want to clean them up with Neat Video. And I always recommend using Neat Video at the end, even though when I've emailed Vlad over at Neat Video, he always says do it in the beginning. Um, it's just really up to preference. I would say, though, if you were going to do it in the beginning, you'd probably want to pick all your clips, apply the Neat Video, export them to a file, and then re-import them and use them that way. Because if you try to apply Neat Video very early in the edit process, and then you start doing a lot of cuts and fades and uh, transitions every time you do anything it's going to re-render a whole entire clip it's going to slow it down huge so I'm going to just approach this real simply and we're going to go ahead and edit this one clip down in the timeline and it's uh, the groom dancing with his mom and I pick a space I usually move the playhead to a, a place in the clip that is going to give me if you look up here in the window an open space with a lot of noise and you can see right in this area against this wall all that granular noise which is created by a high SO recording. So basically I'm sitting here with a camera that's in a space that's too dark for its abilities and it's cranking the ISO up to try to compensate. It ends up looking bad. There's not a lot you can do about it but this will help clean it up quite a bit and it can actually save some shots. Um, so let's go ahead. We're looking at this clip right here. I'm going to show you how to apply the filter. Now here is your video window with all your adjustments. So let's for giggles go in and let's color correct. I'm just going to do a real quick like you know something that I might try on this is boost it up maybe you know drop the uh, saturation or the uh, um, contrast back down go in here to color try to get rid of some of that yellow hue of course this isn't going to look perfect so don't hold me to anything um, I think the highlights are a little yellow too let's see if we can get some of that out of there blacks let's see a little warmer doesn't hurt that um, anyway, it doesn't look great. Like I said, you're not going to save the shot necessarily, but um, you might be able to help it out a little bit. And back over to exposure. I don't want to crush out the blacks too much because if you, if you see here, if I get to a certain point, you can see the noise in his jacket too. So I want to show you how that kind of goes away. So let's take it to where we're at a normal exposure here. Um, I don't think I would lift the mids a whole lot. Somewhere in that range. So you can still see the noise. Uh, the shot's getting a little closer to the color you like, but still has all that noise and grain. So what you do is over here in the uh, video effects pane, you grab the filter and you drag it and drop it on. Once it's on there, you go back out to your video window and you grab the reduce noise window here and there's a select to open. So what you do is you select to open. You, you, of course, you have the clip that you're working on highlighted. You go over to select to open. You click it twice. I don't know why twice. Um, and before I picked the playhead spot where there's open space because I know what Neat Video tries to do. And I'll hit auto profile. And that little blue box is Neat Video's way of saying, I think I found a spot that's a good place to sample for noise. And you say yes or no. And if you look over here in this window, it says 84%. It's basically saying I have a pretty high degree of confidence that that's where uh, a noise sample should come from. So you go over here and you hit apply. And then this is a quick way to apply a neat video. You could go in there and do what's called fine tuning and play with some sliders and stuff. Um, so here you can see the before and after. Let's see if we can make this bigger. Increase the size of the viewing pane here. And if we go back out to the video adjustments of that particular clip, noise reduction is off now it's back on it's off it's back on so you can see it cleans up quite a bit you see how it kind of gets like a little bit of a soft look to it but I promise you it's a lot better than what you'd be dealing with if you didn't get rid of the noise and it's a lot less distracting so it's it's usable and then you can from this point go back in and retweak but if you see the progress bar over here on the um, uh, rendering it's painfully slow. So what I would do is get all your stuff done, 
go back through your, your final edit and pick the three or four or ten shots that you just think look terrible, go in and clean them up, and then you could um, pull some of that noise back out. But that's, in a nutshell, how you use it. It's pretty simple. And uh, that's it.